Hello, my name is Maria. I'm a junior research group leader at the University of Bonn. This is a presentation about our paper, Volumetric Occupancy Mapping with Probabilistic Depth Completion for Robotic Navigation, that was done during my time as research associate at Imperial College London. In many robotic applications, a key requirement for safe and efficient planning is the ability to map obstacle-free space in unknown cluttered environments. However, as can be seen in these examples, commodity-grade RGBD cameras produce images with noise and missing data in view of surfaces that are too glossy, too bright, or simply too far away. This may lead to inefficient or inaccurate mapping performance, limiting the free space discoverable for robotic navigation. To address this, we propose a framework leveraging probabilistic depth completion as an additional input for spatial 3D mapping. Our pipeline enables us to produce maps with more discovered obstacle-free space compared to using the raw depth images alone. So whereas conventional approaches in robotics use only the raw sensor data to perform tracking and mapping, we propose to complement the raw RGBD data using a probabilistic depth completion strategy. Our framework uses the completed depth and depth uncertainty obtained from a depth completion network as an additional input. We introduce a new deep learning model providing uncertainty estimates for the probabilistic depth completion of RGBD images. The network architecture is based on previous work for indoor depth completion. Our contribution is to extend it with an additional output decoder, and we then train it to jointly predict the depth and depth uncertainty for the context of robotic mapping. We develop our input for occupancy mapping with probabilistic depth completion as follows. Here we see um, example raw depth and RGB image, which serve as inputs to our network. Our network predicts the completed depth and the depth uncertainty. It can be seen that our network yields consistent uncertainty estimates as the wider areas of high uncertainty match the areas of missing depth. For mapping, we use the raw depth and a standard camera sensor model where the original data is valid and there are no holes. We then allow our network to fill in the missing information using the completed depth and the depth uncertainty. We use this combined image for mapping. It preserves the details from the original raw depth while also containing additional information provided by our trained network. We evaluate our approach on InteriorNet, a synthetic data set of indoor scenes where ground truth depth is available. These animations show visualizations of the free space in blue discovered by the two mapping strategies. On the left, by using the raw depth alone, as in standard mapping, and on the right, our combined mapping approach with both raw and completed depth. By providing more information for mapping, depth completion allows us to discover more free space, especially at the far end of the room. This is further confirmed by studying the 2D cross sections of free space in the scene. The free space map using probabilistic depth completion on the right is qualitatively much more similar to the map obtained from the dataset depth ground truth shown on the left. We also validate this quantitatively by measuring the free space volume in the scene. We find that our approach maps much more correct free space while incorrect free space from inaccurate depth completion remains relatively low. In other words, we uncover significantly more space suitable for robotic navigation without compromising on safety. Finally, we conduct experiments using real-world data from the TUM RGBD dataset. Here is a video of our mapping approach in action. On the left, we can see the raw depth and RGB images passed through the probabilistic depth completion network. In the middle, the completed depth and depth uncertainty obtained from the network and on the right, the combined image serving as input for occupancy mapping. Finally, these animations show the corresponding visualizations of free space using the two mapping approaches. As before, our proposed approach uncovers much more free space and is more suitable for robotic navigation. Thank you for your attention.